Yeah, man. Um, about to go get this thousand dollars out for the um for the fans, man. Really, I'm gonna take out twenty thousand, man. Just to show people, you feel me? I'm I'm on a whole different level with this, man. I ain't, you know, I take this serious, man. So you can't put me in the same category. What's good, everybody, and welcome back. That's right, that's right. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. And we're back with another trucker reaction video today. And then today's video is a little bit sad. You can't understand why people do the things they do. And in this particular case right here, I, I, I don't understand that this this dude have this had this done to his own mother for clout. I don't get it. In today's reaction video, we're going to be talking about this man right here. He goes by the name of Kwame Wilson. His, uh, his stage name is Young. QC. He's in jail right now. He's, he's doing about 99 years. So you might as well say he's doing life. I, I don't understand why when, when you go to jail and the judge be like, yo, we're we going to sentence you to like 100 to 1,000 years. Bro, just say life. <laughs> just say life. So after 99 years after he died, he, he resurrect. He's going to come back and do some more. <laughs> it's so funny when, 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 when they do it like that. But I guess they have to turn around and, and, and put the years on with the crime. This guy um, had his mother, this young lady right here. He had his mother killed for, for her money. A successful businesswoman. She uh she was um she had a beauty supply store and a beauty salon. Now I know I'm a little bit late on this story, but when I when I got it, when I got it, it's still heart wrenching to this day to find out that at 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 then twenty years old, a spoiled guy at that had had something to go through his head to murder to have his mother killed for her money, for her insurance. But in the article she she lavished this guy, gave him cars, clothes, jewelry, I mean, the kid didn't probably have to do for nothing, but he just thought it would be a good idea to take his mom's money. And the only way to do that is to have her killed. Of course, he goes by the alias of uh, Young QC. QC. Young QC. And he's from Chicago. <laughs> I don't know what's up with Chicago, man. Chicago be be producing some of the weirdest people. I'm just saying. In the article, the judge, Sandley, uh, sentenced the gunman, Eugene Spencer. That's that's the guy he called up and said, hey, bro, uh, I, I got an idea for us to make some money. But he wasn't, to be honest with you, he, he wasn't really hurting for money. I mean, all he had to do was just go and ask his mom. He's like, yo, mom, can I get a G? And I'm sure she would have gave it to him, which she probably did. But he he called up his dude and he said, hey, I got an idea, you know, to, to make some extra money, bro. Huh? How would you like to murder side my mother? Because that's, that's what it is. I think it's matricide, if I'm not pronouncing it right. But it's the meaning of murder of one of one's own mother whenever he wanted whatever he wanted his mother gave to him a car a job you could say that this guy was spoiled and he just snuffed her life right right up under her just because he wanted he, he wanted the money the late mother doted the aspiring rapper to buy him clothes Fancy cars, jewelry, and then at 23 years old, just 23 years old, he ordered her death. Damn, Shine Man. 
Spencer and Wilson's girlfriend went to Holmes' house up in the north side apartment on September 2012, shooting her as she slept before they struggled with her boyfriend. After that, they knocked him unconscious. Not sure if he was killed, but she was stabbed some more while she was on the phone calling her son at the time. He said, and I quote, make sure the bitch is dead so he could take her cash. After the death, the lady hasn't even been settled in the ground yet. This dude made a YouTube video. Now, he made a YouTube video of him going to Chase Bank and withdrawing all her money so he can, quote, unquote, give back to the fans. Man, um, about to go get this thousand dollars out for the um for the fans, man. Really, I'm gonna take out twenty thousand, man. Just to show people, you feel me? I'm I'm on a whole different level with this, man. I ain't, you know, I take this serious, man. So you can't put me in the same category as the others. Man. You feel me, man? I don't play no games. You feel me? I don't play no games, man. You know, I do this for real, bro. I don't got no problem with giving back, man. I'm the only one out here with a show that's actually giving back, you feel me? And I got proof to show it, you feel me? Shout out to this fan I'm finna go slide on, man. Now, unfortunately, I had to drown out the sound because, you know, of course, YouTube's uh, copyright will strike me for the music that's being played in this video. But it's sad to see that this man right here had his own mother killed so he can go out and 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 clout chase and floss. Again, like I said, his mom's wasn't even wasn't even settled in the ground yet before he went out and actually did what he done. Just to just just what? Just to get popularity for YouTube? Likes and views? Was all this done for the social media? I mean, you I mean, it's just fucked up that that people do stupid shit for 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 lights and views i mean you could just easily go over to tiktok and see all the bullshit that people be doing for quote unquote lights and views but this man has done the ultimate evil the ultimate evil he had his own mother killed so he could just go in there and take her money and did stupid shit like making a fucking youtube video and and going out here, I do this for real. I do this, bro. You, there ain't no doing shit, bro. Ain't doing shit, man. You, you is the worst beyond fucking evil that I ever seen in my entire life, man. And again, like I said, this is late. I understand. You know, this happened some time ago, but I'm just now reacting to it because. Shout out to a subscriber to you know send me the send me the link to all of this. <laughs> And it's sad. It's sad. Now, I know when I was growing up, I had my issues with my mother. Who who haven't had their issues with their parents? Now, I mean, I understand. I, I've seen uh, 
like evils in other cultures, in other races. But this is a young black man that looks like that had a good relationship with his mother at some time at, at, at some time down the road. He just gets in his idea like, yo, I need more money. She ain't giving me enough money or whatever the case may be. And he just turned around and just did that to his own fucking mother for fucking likes and views on YouTube. You know, when he goes upstairs to face the man on his judgment day, I'm, I'm sure he, the man is not going to be, I'm, I'm sure the man is not going to be uh, graceful to him. Your own mother, the lady that, that, that that slayed nine months and pushed you out of her womb, took care of you, cars, jewelry, clothes. You you want it for nothing, bro. You want it for nothing. And now you just you 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 just you you just another motherfucker that does some stupid shit for fucking YouTube, bro. It's sad. It's a sad situation. After all of this, we still don't understand why he did it. That's coming, that's quote from the family. They said that it's, that they're glad that, you know, all this trials and tribulation is over with. But see, let me flip the script on this dude. Now, if you was to do some ill shit like that, what you should have done was left. See, that's that's how motherfuckers get caught easily. Doing stupid shit like this. Coming on fucking YouTube, flossing. Oh, I, I got 10 stats for you. I'm about to go and lace this fan 10 stats. Well, like I said, man, I had issues with my moms back in the day, but my relationship with my moms is Trump tight, man. I love my mom. That lady did everything in her power to make sure that me and my sister is on point. I am the man I am today because of my moms. You know? I mean, I know there's one point in a person's life that you will have, like, some issues. But my moms, man, I, that thought would never, ever come across my mind, man. This little bit, this little punk boy right here just just didn't want to go out and fucking work put into work an inspiring rapper the fuck anybody heard of this dude anybody heard of him let me know in the comments below if you ever heard of this guy qc kwame man not only that you're the fucking donkey of the day but you the fucking asshole of the fucking week bruh and again, I know, guys, I know this is late, but still, this is the fucking asshole of the week right here. Again, I appreciate you guys uh, for watching. If you like this video, man, definitely leave this video a like. It helps out the channel. It works and it's free. You know what I'm saying? It is free. That is what's up. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram and all my podcast platforms. If you like videos like this and more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you can get the videos when I drop them on the daily. If you have any videos for me to watch, for me to react, yo, link them to me in the comments below. Link them to me over in the DM on Instagram. You can even get at me on TikTok, or just email me at lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. All right, everybody, y'all take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another one. Peace. Yeah, man, um, about to go get this $1,000 out for the, um, for the fans, man. Really, I'm going to take out 20000 man. Just to show people, you feel me? I'm I'm on a whole different level with this, man. I ain't, you know, I take this serious, man. So you can't put me in the same category.